In this video, we're going to make a beautiful wire wrapped star with the small wire. It has a twist design going down with some straight wires as well. It's the same on the front and the back. My little crystal stars I've got are about three centimeters at their widest part and about two centimeters at the smallest part in between the points there. For this star wrap today, we are using the 26 gauge wire. We're going to use eight lengths of eight inches. So I just start out by measuring those eight lengths out and cutting them off. I know it looks like I'm measuring out seven inches here, but I actually decided at the end that I wanted to add one more inch on because I twisted it so tight that it was actually a little bit shorter. So I'm saying eight inches just so it's going to give you that tiny little bit more length in case you do twist your twist really nice and tight. So we've cut out eight lengths of eight inches and we're going to start with just two of the lengths. First thing I do is just put the ends of the wires together and then follow it back down to about the middle. So on these it's about four inches in. Then I just push the wires apart and we're going to twist these wires around each other. I do five twists or half twists I guess they are and you want to make sure that you're twisting equally each wire around the other wire. I also push the wires apart on the other end as well just so that your spiral stays together. Now we're on to our next two wires there. So again, just popping the ends together, following it down to about the middle, so about the four inch mark, bringing the wires open, and then one, two, three, four, five twists, and then bringing these wires on the other end open as well. We want all four of our little connections that we're making here to be about the same length. Making another connection here, putting your ends together, following it down to the halfway mark, bringing your wires apart, twisting them five times. Then you can open the wires at the other end as well. We're making four of these little connections. So with your last two wires here, we're just going to do the same thing. Doing your five twists and then bringing the wires apart on each end. So you should have four nice, tight, tidy little twisted connections there that sort of look like this. Now we can start to pop them onto our star. I like to use a little bit of electrical tape to secure some of the wire on. I cut off four thin little pieces of my electrical tape, only about five millimeters in width. I like to tape our little connections down in between the grooves of the star. So I just need nice thin pieces and then we can use them to secure the wire wrap on. Now we can grab our first little connection there and they're going to sit with the twisted part down one of the grooves. So in between the points there, just place it down inside the groove there and then you can bend the wires down each side of the star. Then we just pop a little bit of tape there on top of the twist to hold that little twist in place. Now we can place another connection there next to the first one. Again with the twist sitting down in that groove there, bending your wires on each side of the star and then placing your tape on top of the twist there to hold it in place in that little groove there. I like to hold it nice and securely with my fingers on top of the twists there. And then you can see these two wires in the center that are coming together and crossing over each other. These are the ones that we're going to twist together. So I just bring those other wires on the outside out of the way and we're going to twist these two center wires together, twisting equally each wire around the other wire and we're going to twist it right down until it comes over the bottom of the crystal there. Now 
twisting just down till over that bottom of the star there. Then we can swap the star onto the other side and just hold it in the same way with your fingers holding those little twists secure in the groove there. Then with these center wires that are already coming across each other, we're going to just bring them over to where they meet and start twisting again. So just twisting that one down as well. Down till it reaches under the bottom of the star there. Now you've got one twist down each side of the star, we're going to attach our other two connections. These last two connections need to go on the left and right hand sides of the original two connections that you've already put on. So one on each side, just popping that little twisted part in the groove there and bending the wires onto each side of the star. Then you can secure it on with your tape. Now we can put our last little connection into the groove on the other side of those original connections. Bending those wires down each side of the star and then securing that twist in place with your tape. Take a little bit of time now with your wire wrap to make sure that all your tape is holding your connections in place and that your wires are all untangled and ready to work with. Then you can start to see where the next lot of wires are crossing over and where you're going to put your next twists. It will be joining each of the new connections onto the original connections and you will have two wires that cross over under a point there. You want to twist them evenly in a downwards direction until they're just over the bottom of the crystal. All the twists are meeting down at that central point opposite the first connections there. Then we can swap onto the other side and do the same as well. On each side of the star, we've got that central twist coming down and then it's going to have a twist on the left and the right side of it. So you can sort of see which wires need to be twisted. I'm just twisting this one to the right of that first twist, making sure all the other wires are out of the way so that you can bring this twist down to the same point. And that's going to be where your bail is. Keeping that pressure on the twists, making sure they're nice and evenly twisted. It's better to have the wires open than sitting right next to each other just so you can actually twist them around each other evenly. Now for the last twist on each side of the star. You should be able to see the wires to the other side of that central twist. So again just bringing them to where they meet and then twisting them down to underneath the star there. Now we can swap onto the other side and do our last little twist down. All the twists are coming down to that central point on the opposite side of the star, what will be the top of your wire wrap. So we've got the three central twists there, and then we've got one wire on each side of the twist, so that's the last little wire that doesn't have another one to twist onto. And 
And now we're going to start to connect all our wires together and make a bit of a bale. So I just separate all the wires so they're not going to be getting in the way. So I just sort of bring them all apart. Then we're going to start with the two centre twists. So there's four wires in total, but I just bring those two centre twists together and wrap them around each other. I just do about five twists to secure them in place. Then we've got a nice solid twist there. Now I want to start to reduce the number of wires in this middle bunch. So of those two twists that we just brought together and twisted, I'm just going to cut one off each side. And then twist the remaining two wires together. Then we can bring in the next twists. So one from each side of the star, the ones that are sort of opposite each other, just bringing them into the center to wrap around that middle central part. So I wrap them around a couple of times as well and then take one wire off each side as well. Then we can twist the remaining two upwards as well. I find it can make the bale look a bit bulky if I leave all the wires in, so I tend to take about five or six wires in total out, but they do all need to be twisted into the start of this bale so that they're all in there secure. Then we've got these last two twists, so we're just going to bring them up around that central bunch as well and twist them to secure them in place. Trying to keep all the other ones out of the way. Just twisting those ones around as well. I didn't cut any of these ones off. It's sort of up to you how many you cut off and where you cut them off from. I do like to have a couple of full ones to wrap on the top of it just so that you can crimp them all in nice and tight and it sort of covers your wires. So I've cut one of these last ones off here make sure that little tails are nice and tight and then I just wrap all the other ones around as well nice and tightly wrapped around and so out of my 16 wires I've started with I've now got 11 so I've cut five out it still gives a nice solid bale there but just not quite as bulky as it was before Now you want to twist all of the wires nice and tightly together all the way to the top. You should have a nice straight secure twist there and your star shaped crystal should be nicely secured in place as well. Now you can remove your pieces of tape that were securing that wire wrap on the crystal. Now we can start to work on the bale. So I just bring all the wire across in one direction. So just bend it that way. Then with our pliers, I just grab it slightly above the bend and bring the wire right around the round nose pliers. And then in between the pliers and the crystal. Around the bottom of the bale there and I try and wrap it around two times. Bringing it around the bottom of the bale there. Mine might have been a little bit short. Sometimes they vary in length depending on how tight your twists are. I might have twisted mine up a little bit tight but I have adjusted the length on here. This was only 7 inch lengths and you are hopefully doing yours with 8 inch lengths. Now just cutting those extra long tails off and crimping them down nice and tight. Now you can just work with your bale a little bit too, making sure that it's all nice and straight and round and everything's nice and tight. You don't want any sharp pieces of wire poking out and you want that bale sitting side on as well. Now you can just take the time to go over your whole wrap. Make sure all the wires are sitting how you like them. 
that they're all sitting symmetrically and in the right places. You can work a little bit with your wires and get them into the right positions. I really hope you've got something that looks quite similar to this and you can pop it onto a chain and start enjoying it as a pendant.